guys, so it's like Skim here, I you back to again, Jogger 9, I 26, and, um, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. I'm gonna, like, hop into, uh, episode 4 instantly. I seriously cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? <laughs> Holy shit. See you around. <clears throat> All the point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Okay, wait. Easy there. Try not to move. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. My arm? <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. <laughs> Don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. <gasps> no. No. Oh, shit. Heaven's sake. <laughs> See now? That wasn't so difficult. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with it. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Ah, oh, shit. I keep thinking about the arm thing. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin... You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? 
I'm Colin, here shut up. My friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will you? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there, all done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep doing, having visits with me. And, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Holy shit. I... <laughs> He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney. Wow. Because it's clearly some type of hate relationship between Colin and Swinehouse. Yeah, about what happened last time. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big Beast Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, alright? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? Oh, jeez. Colin does, does no shit. Or something? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn him into bacon soon enough. I'm actually... And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Knows the boss. Okay, he knows everything. Okay. Knows best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? Yeah, I seriously want to know. Lone shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <laughs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Yeah, yeah. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. 
We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting... Now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry. Colin's staring at me like that. But I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. Wait. Fuck's sake. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. Holy I'm shit. Not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Don't tell me I have to choose. Okay. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Bluebeard. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? What? Broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She probably just wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. <laughs> Colin wants to remember that he's gonna get betrayed. He's gonna be turned into bacon. God damn it. Uh. Wait, before anything else, I need to read the Book of Fables. Um, what is it? Holy shit, this tree. Okay. Silver Bullets, Wolf's Weakness. Shit. The legends of great and magical wolves often make me uh, make mention of the weakness uh, yeah, weakness against weapons made of silver. And those uh, uh, tales bear out to be true. The Silver Bullet bullet may shot Big B Wish was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Big Beat's blood weakness the system, slowly healing... Can 
and can cause long-term damages. Yeah, slowing his healing, not slow. Uh, slow. His, yeah, so, wait, what? Slows his healing and can... Wait, what did I say originally? I don't know. Okay. Acting deputy. <clears throat> okay. With Ichabod's chain uh, firmly out of the picture, the King Cole... Uh, sorry. And King Cole still absent. The task of leading Feeble Town falls... A squirrely on Snow's so shoulders. She has performed many of the job's uh, duties for a long time, pick uh, picking up the... A uh, slack of fog, Shane. So I'm early in the morning, I can't trade. But now that she's fully in charge of business office, uh, she has to deal with a new level of... Uh, politicking? I don't know. Uh, she has not previously been exposed to... Okay. Life on the farm. Finally, we find out more about the farm. I'm, I'm reading the comics. I'm searching the toad issue, like, today. With its, um... Idyllic location. So, idyllic, I don't know. And managed community. The farm would seem to be a welcome al alternative to eking out an existence in Fable Town. Those who have lived or see it very differently, they see it for what it is, a prison. A place where, they are, where you are free to be um, who you are and do whatever you please, except leave. It doesn't help that while fables who appear human do not have to worry about being sent to the farm, they always seem to fill the leadership soul store. I have no clue what that means, but yeah, um, the farm, clearly a prison. Okay. Wow, what a way to start and wow. The open I I love the opening honestly. I love the music. And sheep's clothing, okay. Hi, Sheriff. The Woodland Building morning. Have a seat. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. Mm. <coughs> Don't even start small, oh my god. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. <laughs> sure. Is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. Mm. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. 
Mm. You can try. I just go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Mm. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. You can trust you me. You need a friend right now. You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. They've all been killed so off. I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but but it's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith War One Two. I just figured that out. Like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. Oh my God! You can't tell me. I was thinking that I was actually going to say that before he said ribbons, and then I stopped myself because I was like, "Oh my God!" He also figured that out. Yeah, the ribbons are probably what made them. Like yeah, yeah, we we're gonna find out. We're gonna figure that out. Hmm. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. What's going on in here? Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? 
she told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. <laughs> yeah. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Or oh, so someone was going, going to be into elevation or something. Okay. Didn't I unlock? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. And you didn't want to tell me that you were in for a good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that way. Jesus, that's some violent knocks. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big Fuck's B. sake. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Uh, Rice. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring him into the beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Hmm. Talk about living in the about past. That? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money. And energy. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan mm. you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever Okay, do. what kind of trouble? So what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? 
we'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain If you're honest, certain, I'll protect you, yeah. I can protect you. But only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just step. Uh... A day at the beach? Skiing a slope? <laughs> Can we finish we this conversation to first? Right I now, should so get that. Leave a message Come on. at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as. <laughs> Humanly possible. care about is how can I find the crooked man who do I talk to where do I go the lucky pawn that's where I borrowed the money the crooked man's behind that place I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before so when I needed money that's where I went I didn't have you know seen what to do. The... Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 